Chelsea submit new offer to sign Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang from Barcelona. Chelsea have submitted a new €20 million, Euros, £16.9 million, pounds, offer to Barcelona for Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, according to reports in Spain. Thomas Tuchel is keen for Chelsea to recruit a new striker before the end of the transfer window and Aubameyang is his top target having already worked with him at Borussia Dortmund. However, Barcelona have been holding out for a fee close to €30 million, Euros, £25.3 million, pounds, for the 33-year-old, who they signed on a free transfer from Arsenal in February. Chelsea's first offer of €15 million, Euros, £12.6 million, pounds, was turned down by Barcelona last week. But according to Sport, Chelsea have returned with an improved bid of €20 million, Euros, £16.9 million, pounds, and have removed add-ons from the deal. The report claims that Barcelona are encouraged by Chelsea's latest offer but are still looking for a figure closer to €30 million, Euros, £25.3 million. Pounds. However, a €20 million, Euros, £16.9 million pounds, fee from Chelsea for Aubameyang would be enough to finally allow Barcelona to register €55 million, €46.4 million, pounds, summer signing Jules Koundé. Speaking last week, Barcelona head coach Xavi insisted that the club's main aim is to get Koundé registered as quickly as possible. If there is an offer for any of them, we'll see how the squad turns out to be. Now the priority is to register Koundé, said Xavi. Koundé is training really well. He's great with the ball. I think we signed a very good player. Now we need to sell some players to register him. Aubameyang played in Barcelona's friendly against Manchester City on Wednesday evening managed to get on the scoresheet in the 3-3 draw. The former Arsenal captain had initially ruled out leaving Barcelona this summer but it's understood that he is now open to joining Chelsea. Crystal Palace unlikely to let Wilfried Zaha join Chelsea this summer. It seems like Chelsea's pursuit of Crystal Palace's Wilfried Zaha is set to come to an end. Earlier this month, Chelsea were linked with a shock move for Crystal Palace's key man Wilfried Zaha. The Ivory Coast international has been linked with a move away from Selhurst Park for years but it has never transpired. In the past couple of seasons though, Zaha has really found his form at Palace, something he is continuing this season after scoring three goals in the first three Premier League games. After missing out on Rafinha, the Blues have been on the lookout for a winger so being linked with 29-year-old made sense. However, since that report, Chelsea have stepped up their interest in Everton's Anthony Gordon. The 21-year-old has been trying to force through a move and it looks like the Blues are going to end up spending around £60 million for the youngster. With the price tag being so much, some people have suggested that Chelsea were forced to pay that after Palace refused to sell Zaha this summer, something a recent report seems to indicate. According to The Telegraph, via blue underscore footy, Zaha has been discussed as a possible target for Chelsea this summer. However, Palace seem unlikely to sanction a sale for the winger this close to the transfer deadline. Even though Zaha is a great player, he's 29-year-old and Todd Burley is trying to build a team for the future. Who knows though, this transfer window has been crazy, so it wouldn't surprise us if this isn't the end of this story. Thomas Tuchel set to sit out Leicester City match. Thomas Tuchel will miss Chelsea's game against Leicester City this weekend after his actions during the Tottenham game were deemed unacceptable by the FA. Tuchel was not expected to be on the touchline for the game against Leeds United last Sunday, but his ban was suspended due to there being no written reasons for his punishment. Leeds manager Jesse Marsh was not happy last weekend when he heard the news that Tuchel would remain on the sideline for the game, saying he was disappointed that they allowed him to be on the bench. There is a simple rule in football. Whether it's soccer or football, if you get a red card you can't play the next match. Tuchel and Antonio Conte clashed at the end of the Tottenham game two weeks ago during their full-time handshake which led to staff and players from both sides coming together. During the post-match press conference, Tuchel then claimed it would be better if Anthony Taylor didn't referee Chelsea matches in the future, after he was accused of getting some key decisions wrong during the game including not sending off Christian Romero for pulling Mark Cucurella's hair prior to a Spurs corner. The FA's independent commission has today given the expected written reasons Tuchel's sideline ban for the events during the aftermath of the Battle of the Bridge and it now looks like Tuchel's assistants Arno Mikkels and Jolt Lowe will take to the dugout this weekend in the Germans' absence. The touchline ban that is now expected to be put into force this weekend can still be suspended further by Chelsea, but only if the club decides to appeal the FA's decision.
RB Leipzig set to join the race for Chelsea defender Travo Chalabar. Chelsea youngster Travo Chalabar has gained a lot of attention from many big clubs across Europe after Thomas Tuchel's decision to bring in another centre-back this summer, knocking him down the pecking order. According to Nizar Kinsella from the Evening Standard, RB Leipzig has now joined the race for Chalabar with the German side in urgent need of a new defender this summer. RB Leipzig has already managed to do business with Chelsea this summer after negotiating a deal worth £25 million to bring Timo Werner back to his former side on a permanent basis. The German side will join the likes of Inter Milan, FC Roma and Tottenham Hotspurs when it comes to the race of bringing the 23-year-old on loan. Chelsea still is keen on bringing another centre-back this year after the departures of Antonio Rudiger and Andreas Christensen. Tuchel has already managed to bring in 33-year-old Kaladu Koulibaly into the squad, who already started to make an impact. The Blues still remain in pursuit of Leicester City defender Wesley Fofana despite having the third bid of £70 million declined as the Foxes look to hold out for a world record bid for the Frenchman. Fofana was dropped out of the squad in Leicester's previous game and has now been sent to train with the under-23s by Brendan Rodgers. Hakim Ziyech could now leave on a permanent deal after new talks with Ajax. Chelsea winger Hakim Ziyech is one player Thomas Tuchel has given the all-clear to leave the club this summer in search of regular game time, with former club Ajax seeming to be the most interested right now. The Blues winger was named amongst Timo Werner and Christian Pulisic of forwards that Tuchel has put aside this season after bringing in Raheem Sterling earlier this summer. Ziyech looked confident to join the Italian champions AC Milan earlier this summer, but as time went on the 29-year-old become frustrated with Milan and the deal fell apart. Since then, the Moroccan has made numerous trips to Amsterdam to discuss a potential return to the Eredivisie, where Ziyech flourished as a player. According to journalist Gurgen Hamstelar, a permanent deal is now one of the options for Ajax regarding Ziyech after it was thought a deal would be a loan with the option to buy. However, this will depend on Ziyech's price tag and the situation around current Ajax player Anthony, and his potential sale to Manchester United. Ziyech made his first Premier League appearance of the season last weekend in Chelsea's 3-0 defeat to Leeds United. The 29-year-old came on for 27 minutes but was unable to change the game, potentially being his last game as a Chelsea player. Chelsea eye up Edmund Tapsober if the Wesley Fofana deal falls through. Thomas Tuchel looks to bring in a second centre-back this summer after losing Antonio Rudiger and Andreas Christensen to free transfers, Edmund Tapsober from Bayer Leverkusen seems to be the next target. Chelsea continues to pursue Leicester City defender Wesley Fofana but after a third bid of £70 million declined they may have to look elsewhere. According to Florian Plettenberg from Sky Sports, Edmund Tapsober is now on Chelsea's potential list of signings if the club were to fail in bringing in Fofana. Tapsober joined Bayer Leverkusen back in 2019 where he has become a constant starter for the German side. The 23-year-old still has another four years left on his contract which would cause the Blues to pay the full price. Thomas Tuchel has already brought in 33-year-old Kaladu Koulibaly from Napoli who has already come into the Chelsea squad and made an instant impact. However, Koulibaly will miss the Blues' next game against Leicester after receiving a red card in the 3-0 defeat to Leeds. By bringing in another centre-back, Chelsea youngster Travo Chalabar is having to look for a loan move in order to get regular game time. RB Leipzig, Spurs, Roma and Inter Milan are amongst the names looking to take the defender off Chelsea's hands for a season-long loan.